now there's different agreements but the, the i'm just going to kind of get so people can have a parameter of what the, the standard music licensing agreement there's different variants of this but the standard one is you you will split the sync fee upfront sync fees with the library 50 50. you will get 100 percent of the writer's shares they get 100 percent of the publishing shares like i said that's to- totally normal in the entertainment business now i, now I don't care what you heard in the music like in the music industry but in music license, that's 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 how I suppose that's how they make their money, and then you get the back end royalties. That's, that's just a standard. And, and and if you deal with an exclusive library, which all the libraries I deal with are exclusive, most of the times that's to per, uh, perpetuity. So it, they'll have it forever. They own it forever. Yes. Uh, so that's a, a standard. But I recently encountered a library. A guy reached out to me. And they look like they had some great clients and some stuff, and I would really want to work with them. And they was going to have me doing this special project on this kind of network, had this thing with some true crime stuff, which is my, you know, was one of my main lanes I can really get down in. And I was all excited. And they got time to the contract stuff. <clears throat> They're like, yeah. And then I sent you some of the contract, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, just let me ask questions, because it's just saying what I'm saying. But I think it's like, well, uh, we will take 100% of the publisher shares. We'll split 50 50, but then we want 50% of the writer shares. I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I, I said, I'm sorry, bro. We, we, we can't do that. That's it. I, I said, I said, I said, I said, as, I said, as, I said, as a composer, because this, the CEO, he was also a composer. I said, you know, we, we composers have us too hard out here in this game to give up. I said, I, I can't see why I'm giving part of my royalty for something that you had nothing to do with. Right. And he, he said, I understand. He said, but a lot of the networks and production companies are squeezing the music libraries and want to get some of their publishing and royalties. And so that's the only way we can kind of really do business. So he said, would you mind maybe... I'll give you 60 a week before that. I said, no, nah, bro. So he was trying to work with me. I said, no, nah, man, I, I, I can't do that. I, I, I just, it's just a good concept. I can't do it because I know I don't have to. And so I want to empower people that I say, I tell you, so to tell people you can say no, even if, even if you don't have any, even if you're not signed with the music library yet, I would have said the same thing. I wouldn't have said, oh, this is my first library. So I'm just going to, you know, you see what I'm saying? And, and you, I, I know you old enough to know that you know people in the industry that have given up a whole lot of stuff just for the sake of, ooh, I got signed. And then you, you so no, stay true to your virtues, <laughs> stay true to yourself. You don't have to do that. Just, just you know, if, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna say just, just trust God, just trust the process that it'll work out. You don't have to just sign your name on anything just because. Just say, oh, no, 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 I, I, I can't do that. <laughs> 